the eye, very hungry. Nahnu kaumun la nakul hatta najua. I am a man who don't eat yeah, until hungry. So, if you are not hungry, don't eat. <laughs> okay? Yeah, because uh, there are some also some people who uh, even don't hu- uh, they don't hungry just eat a lot of thing, right? Small, small, but a lot. Yeah, small thing, but a lot. The people don't do that. Okay? And if I eat, yeah, I eat just sufficiently. Apa bahasanya kepenuhan itu, bu? <laughs> Kekenyangan bahasa Inggrisnya apa ya? Not too full. Okay? Not too full. If you are hungry, you eat, but not too full. Okay? Just sufficient yeah, for you. So it's also make you uh, healthy. So that's one of example of the prophet uh, did. Yeah. Mm. They, are in, they also learn about Arabic and Studying aqidah. Who knows aqidah? What does aqidah mean? Others? You? With glass? What is aqidah? Okay, you know I believe? <laughs> no googling, please. <laughs> But faith, yeah. But faith, believe in God, believe in the prophet, the previous prophet. Yeah. Who knows the uh, uh, the six uh, foundation, six pillars of not five pillars is, uh, is Islam, rukun Islam, six. Points of the creed, Islamic creed. Okay, the first one. Try to remember, katanya. <laughs> the first one is believe in Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. Okay, uh, the second one. Books, believe in books. Okay. The third. Believe in messenger. Okay. Fourth. Ayo, rukun iman. <laughs> Six pillar of iman. Six pillar of iman. Angels. Fifth. Okay, that's the last one. <laughs> Fifth. Okay, destiny for the six. Yeah. So believe in Allah, believe in the Rasul, Kitab, and then angel, and then the fifth. Prophet and the last one, destiny. Okay, so that's six uh, pillars of iman, belief. So, become a Muslim, you have to believe that six pillars. Yeah. This is part of your faith. Yeah. Part of your faith. Okay, now I'm going to ask you about Islam. What is Islam? What is the meaning of Islam? Mm. Raise your hand. What is What does Islam mean? What is Islam? The meaning of Islam. Uh, okay? You can guess. Okay. Try. Guess. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Who? Okay, you may try. Submission. Submission. 100 points for the second time. Okay, thank you. What's your name? Firda. Okay. Submission to God. Yeah? So being Muslim is being a person who can what is, dedicate yeah, himself for the sake of, of God, yeah, for the willingness of God. Yeah. Submission. Yeah. And Islam has five pillars. Ah, okay. I know five pillars of Islam. Okay. The first Shahada, pray, fasting, zakat, hajj. Hajj. Then. Hajj. For those who. For everyone or only for certain people? For those who are able to do so, right? Yeah, because Hajj is uh, not easy, uh, expensive, need energy, okay, need time and so forth. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, five pillars of Islam. Aqidah is part of the uh, the central uh, teaching of Islam, the faith. Yeah. So of course. When you grew up yeah, in a country like United States, yeah, you have to interact with other people. You have to interact with other communities, other religious communities. Yeah. You have to uh, meet uh, people from different uh, culture and so forth. So that's okay. There is no uh, barriers for you. There's no barrier for you as a Muslim. But the most important thing, the most important thing is how to take care of yourself. Yeah. Uh, as a Muslim. Yeah. And it is also important to show the the your identity. Yeah. But somebody I say, Are you Muslim? Uh you are not confident. Okay, that's not a good way. I am Muslim. Yes, I'm Muslim. Yeah. My father and my mother are also Muslim too. Yeah. I was born from Muslim family, yeah. and I have a tradition, and I have uh, a culture. I have uh, uh, a rules. My family, my family has a regulation and so forth and so forth. Islam teach us how to take care of ourselves, not to do so, not to doing this, not to do this, and to do this. So. It's also important for, especially for young teenager, to build your confidence yeah. uh, while you are living in different uh, environment, yeah. different milieu outside there. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you about the the other one, another term. Mm. Have you heard about this? Have you heard about this? Ah. What? You don't know? Not yet? Okay. Yeah? Sure. Sure. You have to. The first one is about belief. Yeah. And the second one is about practice. So, fiqh is the Islamic uh, terms to identify the rule and regulation in Islam. Yeah. Okay, you are praying, right? Every day? Yeah? And you are fasting too? Mm. Uh, when you practice it, the regulation is called fiqh. Uh, the regulation is called fiqh. For example, 
okay, you have to restrain from the food and from water, okay? Starting from, uh, what is, before the sunset, uh, sun, sunrise, until sunset, okay? That's thick, yeah. that's regulates. Yeah. Thick also uh, more technical, yeah. like in prayer or in wudu. In wudu, uh, ablution, yeah. you wash your hand, yeah. wash your face, and then hand until elbow, and then your hair, and head or hair, he head and hair, okay, and then hmm? ear, okay. Uh, Feet until huh? not here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So that's we call it fiqh. Yeah. Uh, iman, uh, Islam, and here is aqidah, and here is fiqh. Yeah. Uh, fiqh is a regulation. Yeah. The last one is. Akhlaq. What is this? Akhlaq. Have you heard this term? No. Okay. So this is first time. Akhlaq. Akhlaq is norm. Mm. Norm. Norm, by eh? Betul, yeah? Ethics, kalau kata ethics, norms or ethics. So, the Prophet Muhammad is a good example of a persons with good deeds, yeah. good behavior. So, ahlak actually relates to the behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Relates to the behavior. How to strand uh, uh, the anger, for example. Yeah. Uh, not to be uh, emotional, yeah. not uh, how to respect the elder, yeah. elder people. It's about akhlaq, about norms. Yeah. And how to talk, the way you talk to your parents. Yeah. In the in, in, in Muslim family or Islamic culture, you have to lower your voice. If you talk to your father or your mother, you are not allowed to talk with a very <laughs> high volume. <Yeah. laughs> Screaming, Dad, Mommy, you are right. No, 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 that's not a good way. Not a, uh, Muslim children. Muslim children, Daddy and Mommy, could you help me? I need your help. Dad, help me. Help me. Come here. Hurry up. Hmm, not a good way. It's not in accordance with Islamic akhlaq. Yeah? So akhlaq just regulate the, the, the behavior. Yeah? The attitudes. Good attitudes. Not only to your parents, but also to your big brother, to big sister. And the big brother, big sister should also treat uh, Younger brother and younger sister, in a sibling, yeah, in a good way, yeah, love them, okay, and carry, uh, carry, yeah, uh, take care of them, yeah, not see, do not see your brother or sister as an enemy, okay, as a competitor, but as your sibling, beloved uh, siblings, yeah, so. That's one aspect that I would like to, to tell you about Islam. And any question from you about Indonesia or about akhlaq, fiqh, and aqidah? Just one or two questions. Any? Any question? Come on. Uh, 
any question? It's not easy to find him to come here, right? Yes, <laughs> okay. Yeah? No worry. Just say what you want to say. Everything. Don't be shy. Come on. Anyone? Anything. You can ask anything. <laughs> Anyone? Ask? I hear that American children is very outspoken, but so quiet now. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, that stands. <laughs> Ask? Huh? Okay. Anyone? Anyone? Any, just to make sure you understand what he say. <laughs> Question? Are you sure? Okay. Yo. You. Just one question. Huh? Try to create a question. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 You, you say if, what do you say again? No, it's different to a question. Can we see a question that's not related to Oh, can I ask question that's not related to Islam? Yes, you can ask anything. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay. You can ask anything. Let me try. Yeah. Or maybe you can ask him about the, you know, just the American United States government just released the, the LGBT thing. You know? <laughs> 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 ah, okay. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's easy. Take an easy. Uh, okay, if there's no question, maybe for me. I just pretend to be a teenager. Uh, 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 you, you have a question? I think I just question. Maybe some of them ask me that, you know, how we as a, a, a Muslim, you know, uh, 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 our attitude to the law that U.S. government just released regarding the the same-sex marriage. You know, some some didn't ask to me, and then I don't have really the answer. Maybe you can share with us. <laughs> <laughs> That's two sophisticated questions <laughs> to explain. Uh, okay, it's very hard, yeah? and and and. Uh, It's very controversial issues, not only in the Muslim world, but also in other parts of the world. And America, even the, in the United States, is still controversial. And if you look at the history, America, America United States, or the state, needs hundreds of years, yeah. hundreds of years, to become to that conclusion during the Obama. Hundreds of years, yeah. ratusan tahun. Yeah. So, the question is why? Because this is very controversial. Yeah, with the long traditions that human beings, or especially the community, the religious community groups have, uh, has been dealing with. Yeah. In Islam, yeah. Islam recognizes or gives some recognitions to the relation between the couple between men and women. There is, uh, in the Quran, it said, Inna khulaknakum min dhakari wa untha wa ja'anakum shu'uba wa qaba'ila. Ya ayyuhan nas, wa hey manusia, hey human beings, 
inna khalaqna kum min dhakari wa untha surely yeah. i created men and women min dhakari wa untha wa ja'alna kum shu'uba wa qaba'ila and from these two types of sex yeah, men and women we create the communities a group of people shu'ub tribes and so forth so in this respect islam commit to supporting the the uh, the life of human beings the, the future of human beings okay and uh, the the couples uh, the relation between men and women is the only thing recognized yeah, in islamic law so uh, that's my point and i personally uh, support the the this principle yeah. i personally support the principles of preserving life yeah. preserving the race of human beings yeah that's my point mm. however yeah. i do not hate people who support this lgbt or so forth so we are in disagreement about this yeah there's some friends of mine who support lgbt yeah i respect uh, his positions but also show my my positions yeah. uh, because i but then of course in detail is very complex yeah it's very complex lgbt is not simply about the the marriage yeah marriage but also about the uh the nature of human beings the chromosome and so forth and in the detail it's very very complex but uh i do not know much about this but i personally uh i believe that uh, the couple yeah uh, god has facilitate for the human beings and create women and women yeah to uh, preserve the the life yeah that's my point but <laughs> okay Thank you very much uh and I hope you may uh you can learn more about Islam yeah from the book from the internet or especially from the madrasah or pesantren kilat yeah here uh organized by the muslim communities in the mosques and hopefully yeah, and I hope also you grow up as a good muslims a good muslima holding the principle of Islam to show the people that you are a good man a good person yeah a good citizen also yeah and uh and in the future yeah you are now uh, uh very young still very young young teenagers yeah uh, today's teenagers yeah today's teenagers is the future men or the future women in in arabic shubanul yawm rijalul ghad so you have to see your future yeah and please grow up as a, a good muslim thank you very much pak assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh okay.